Hi folks, this is all the fruit and here I found yet another local Borneo Longan variety. On the small market of Nia, this is one of the many markets of the tiny town of Nia, one of the junction markets, the locals and me, we were discussing what exactly this fruit is. I did not buy it from here, I bought it from Bintulu. Well, it's always good to ask as many local people as possible what something is, but the thing is those are very friendly people. If what you suggest to them is not completely wrong, they will usually agree with you. Well, sometimes also if they don't understand you completely, they will agree with you, or sometimes if they think it's polite. But usually, yeah, if it's something completely wrong, they will tell you, no, this is uh, not correct. But if it's more or less correct, they will agree with you. So we agreed, just like in Bintulu, that this is a Mata Kuching Isao. What is a Mata Kuching Isao? Well, first I used the name Longan on them. They said, no, this is not Longan. Longan is big. In Ikechi, Longan Bazaar, yeah? Oh, and now they are bringing me some nice ice drink. <laughs> Such nice people. So, ini tida longan. Tida. Tida. Longan bazaar, ini kuching. Longan bazaar, ini kuching. So, this here they call mata kuching. Mata kuching, well, it's being used for a lot of longan relatives, longan like fruits, but usually they use it for the hybrids between the local Borneo longans and the Thai longan. The Thai longan is funny, it, its name is um, Bar Malaysiano, so it's officially it's the Malay Longan, but it's most commonly grown in Thailand. While the Borneo Longans, they are called Bar Echinatus. But in, the, in all the two months I've been in Borneo, this is actually the first time I've seen a Longan on the market. And when I saw them, actually, they looked a bit smallish, they looked a bit greenish, but I wanted to eat Longan, so I thought I'll try them if they are sweet enough, I'll buy them, just to eat them, not for a video. And then I tried one and I was electrified because this tasted nothing like a normal long gun. And this also tasted nothing like the Mata Kuching I've met before. For the, because the Mata Kuching I've met before, it was actually always a hybrid between the variety Kakos and the normal long gun. However, this year, it's a much more rare hybrid between the variety Isao and some other long and that's why we agreed that this is Mata Kuching Isao. It's a hybrid that tastes of Isao and Isao is supposed to be the tastiest of all long guns in the world according to a lot of people and I don't disagree because I haven't found a tastier long gun than the Isao. Well this here combines the properties of Isao and of the normal long gun. It's big, it's not really bumpy, there are some kind of suggested bumps on the on the skin, but it's not really bumpy, so big, without bumps. Mm. It's slightly green, well the normal ISO is much more green, and the taste of the normal ISO is much stronger, the ISO flavor. This here, Mm. It has a flavor which reminds me a little bit of the Thai long gum. A flavor of old basements, but in a good way. But it's mixed with a faint Isao flavor. So it looks more or less like a hybrid of both, but most importantly, it tastes like a hybrid of both. I think that this one should really be propagated and planted more because it really gives a very nice twist to the normal long and it's not a, the taste is not as crazy as the local as the local Borneo longans. Also the size is not as small as the local Borneo longans. It's a wonderful mix. You know mostly when you have some hybrids they're inferior to the parent species, but this I wouldn't say it's superior, but it's definitely equal to both the Thai Longan and Isao and should totally be propagated and planted more. So folks, what do you think about this wonderful endemic Borneo hybrid fruit? Please tell me your opinion, what do you think it is? 
Oh my god, now they brought me some food too. Those people are so nice, they basically adopted me. This is long and other uh, other the ging dalam? Red bean, red bean. Red bean. Ah, red bean, okay. Tari makasi. Good that I, <laughs> that I just booked a homestay over there because otherwise I'm sure I wouldn't have to sleep in the jungle, but they would already find me a place. So, folks, please tell me your opinion on this wonderful longan. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful island of Borneo with its countless fruits and with, with its wonderful people. And, of course, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.